Hey everybody, this is Sean with The Verge. I'm about to hop into this, the Electromechanica Solo EV. Let's go for a ride. So what exactly am I in right now? Uh, this is the Electromechanica Solo EV. It is a tiny three-wheeled electric car. Uh, it costs about $20,000 has a range of about 100 miles and a top speed of around 80 miles an hour. It is weird. It is, <laughs> this is only one of 18 built so far. Uh, four of them have actually already been delivered. And Electromechanica is just this company out of Vancouver who decided to build this weird little EV. Some other specs you might be curious about, it takes about three to six hours to charge out of a standard wall outlet um, or a 220V outlet. Um, it, has a 16 kilowatt hour battery, so pretty small. Um, but again, good enough for about a hundred mile range, which is pretty close to some of the EVs that are out there. Inside you find basically all the kinds of accoutrement you would want inside a normal car. We've got uh, a radio, we've got air conditioning, we've got wipers. I mean, like, it's not like it's missing anything. It's just less of a car than most cars. The company comes from a group of people who were a part of Inner Mechanica, which is an old shop that used to refurb Porsches. Uh, really does kind of look like a normal car from the front and then you turn and all of a sudden it looks like a, a slipper or a, a, <laughs> a mohawk. I don't know what you would really call it. The company that this most directly relates to is Elio Motors, who made a three-wheel gasoline car that has really fallen flat. They've run into so many troubles trying to get that on the road, and who knows if Electromechanica will face those same kinds of troubles. I think what I like most about this car is not the way it drives or how it looks or anything like that, it's what it represents. Uh, this is another example of how the drop in price of electric motor technology and battery technology is changing everything. Everything from something like this to electric scooters to electric bikes, it's making so many people with weird ideas finally able to challenge those weird ideas and like try to put them on the road. And that's never really been possible before. I mean, we are really seeing a revolution here. Electric vehicles may only make up 1% of the market so far, but we're seeing more weird ideas like this come out every year. It is extremely strange to be in a car that's this small. Um, I've been in cars that are this low before, race cars that are this low before, but this is something totally different. And it feels like you're so invisible and that scares me a little bit. I haven't had a chance to get it up to its top speed of about 85 miles an hour. It has 82 horsepower, which I guess I'm feeling. I mean, anything below 100 is a bit hard to register, even in a small, car like this. Also not very quiet in the cabin. I don't know if you can hear that. Um, the whir of the motor comes right through because it's right back there. I really don't know who it's for other than people who have $20,000 to burn. One of my favorite things though is driving anything that draws attention and everybody keeps looking at this and wondering what the hell is this guy driving. So that was the drive of the Electromechanica Solo EV. For all the weird electric cars, electric scooters, self-driving cars, everything we've seen at CES this week, go to youtube.com slash The Verge, click subscribe. Go to theverge.com slash CES for everything else we've seen. And that's it, thanks for watching. I'm not looking at you? Um, no, look at me. So that was a ride in the Electromechanica Solo EV for, sorry. <laughs>